Today we are making the top 6 AIs compete to make the best Minecraft clone, entirely from scratch. Each AI will have 3 chances to fix up any bugs, polish the game mechanics and present their ultimate version of the Minecraft world. Now the prompt that I designed it is this. It is pretty long. I wanted it to be pretty detailed so the AIs have no excuses. So let's kick things off with ChatGPT, the most well known and the most expensive AI we are testing today. Let's feed it the monster prompt and make sure we enable the thinking mode. I wanted to really dedicate its visual brain power to this one. Fingers crossed we get something immediately impressive. After the initial code generation, we are in the game and well, this is how it's looking. It is to be completely honest, literally unplayable. This is a rough start for the supposed top dog. So let's ask ChatGPT to take its first correction attempt and fix things up. We need a basic functional game loop. So this is what ChatGPT has cooked up after the first fixing attempt, but it's still not impressive. More critically, the game loop is not running at all. We are completely stuck, unable to move, look around or interact with anything. ChatGPT, this is your last attempt. You better make this count. Alright, after the final polish, the game is now thankfully playable. We can move around but let's be real, everything else looks absolutely terrible. The terrain is just random jarring patches of color, we can break the blocks which is massive plus but we can't place anything back down. And we don't have any inventory system whatsoever. So that's pretty much it, there is nothing special about this version, we're going to give it a 5 out of 10 purely for the sheer fact that it's finally became playable. And also we are getting over 100 FPS in this game. Now it's Gemini's turn to show us what it's made of. Here is the exact same detailed prompt and here is thinking enabled. Let's see if you can learn from ChatGPT's mistakes and produce something better. Look at this, wow, this is immediately looking miles better than ChatGPT's initial attempt. There's clear world structure, the immediate problem is a significant one though. We are jumping constantly. It's like we are permanently bouncing on a trampoline. Other than that, other than that though, listen to the music. It actually has decent Minecraft vibes to it. Plus, we can already place blocks and destroy it. Let's just ask Gemini to specifically fix that persistent annoying jumping problem and while let's add it, hopefully add some sheep to the world. Gemini has done the coding and unfortunately after running the fixed version, the game is actually not working this time. Let's try that one more time. The coding is done and the constant jumping is still not gone. That is incredibly frustrating, however we did get the actual sheeps here. They are moving around with proper pathfinding, just like the real Minecraft sheep. They are adorable and mob spawning works perfectly. So because of this successfully added working sheep, which is a major feature, we are going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's just a shame that the jumping didn't get fixed, otherwise it would have been a perfect 10 and the undisputed winner right here. It's now Claude's turn which many consider the most promising coding AI out there. We have high hopes from this one. Let's give it the detailed prompt and make sure we turn on the extended thinking mode to maximize its potential. Now let's take the generated code and put it inside VS Code to see how it plays. It really is quite complete right off the gate. We have background music, we have sound effects when we break blocks. This is a genuinely well rounded experience. We can break blocks and place blocks. But I don't know why we are so laggy, this is not even complex. So let's ask Cloud to prioritize fixing this severe lag problem which is making the game unplayable. And also add some sheep if possible to make Gemini success. Ok so here's the fixed version, after running it I can immediately see a bigger problem. The mouse is not registering and we cannot even get the game to start properly or look around. Somehow it actually managed to get worse after the fixed attempt. So let's use the final prompt to tell Claude to specifically fix these new critical errors and revert the lag, this is it. I really hope Claude gets things right because honestly this is a tough challenge. And it seems Cloud simply cannot fix these errors. The final version still won't register the mouse, so based on its incredibly promising first attempt which was quite decent and functional despite the lag, we're going to have to stop here and give it an 8 out of 10. 
It's Grok's turn now, the Elon Musk AI. Let's see if the expert mode can carry it to victory. I just gave the full prompt to Grog and let's make sure we use the expert mode and really make Grog think harder than it ever has done. It is now taking a couple of minutes of intense thinking, which is a good sign, it's hopefully processing the complexity of a Minecraft clone. The coding is complete and we can actually start playing it by clicking on this preview button right here. We can see that there are boxes for an inventory which is a good sign for core mechanics but it is not playing even though it clearly says click to play. We're just stuck on a static screen. So let's tell Grok to fix this problem. We need a playable game. It looks like Grok is struggling, it's giving us only the opening lines of the code and then just stopping. Let's give it the prompt again and see if it makes anything better. This time we're gonna use the Grok 4.1 beta. Hopefully a newer model can handle the complexity better. Okay, so we are facing the exact same issue again. A promising start but it's just can't output the final code. And I think this is pretty much meaning that Grok's free version cannot under any circumstances make a playable Minecraft clone. So for this incredibly disappointing reason, Grok gets a 0 out of 10. We should better luck next time, Grok. It is now Deep Seek's turn and here is the detailed prompt for it. Let's turn on Deep Think mode and make sure it puts in its absolute best effort. Deep Seek is supposed to be the most cheap AI out there. So let's see if we get value for money. Wait a second, Deep Seek's free version can actually make Minecraft. What the hell? It loaded and we can look around. But there's this immediate bizarre problem. When we press W to move forward, we are actually moving backwards. That's an issue but otherwise the world is generating and it looks pretty decent. Let's tell DeepSeek to specifically fix these inverted movement issues and see how it looks. Now after the fix attempt, everything seems absolutely perfect, the issues are totally fixed, the controls are responsive and honestly this might be today's surprise winner. We have a working inventory system, we have actual trees in the world, we can break blocks and we even have breaking percentage showing up which is a great little detail. Let's try selecting a block and see if we can build a house. Guys, it is completely possible. We can make a simple house if we want in this game. This is genuinely impressive for a free model. So let's give DeepSeek the points it deserves. For this incredible effort and the functional detailed game it created, I will give DeepSeek a solid 8.5 out of 10. It was truly amazing. So it's the last one up, Perplexity's turn. This is the final contender so let's hope it makes at least a playable Minecraft even if it's basic. Let's turn on the research mode, maybe digging through code repositories will help and give it the detailed prompt. Let's see what kind of game we get. For some reason we have to manually copy the code from here which is a little annoying but the code is pretty big which is usually a good sign of complexity. Let's run it. Oh, it says generating world on the screen, that's a nice touch. The UI looks interesting but the game is lagging really really bad. It's absolutely brutal. We are getting maybe a frame every 3 seconds. It is unplayable in this state. Let's tell Perplexity about the severe lag problem and see if it can optimize the code. So it gave us this new code and it is literally half the size of the first code. Not a good sign for a complex game. And the game is completely unplayable just like the initial attempt from the other AIs. Let's tell Perplexity one final time to fix the errors and just for kicks make the code at least 1000 lines long again. We are asking for functionality and complexity this time. So we got about 750 lines of code so slightly bigger but after running it we can see that Perplexity's free version is also not capable of making a fully working optimized Minecraft game. Perplexity also gets a big fat 0 out of 10 from me. Honestly, the free versions of the AI seems pretty scammy for intense coding tasks like this. So let's put all the final points on the table and declare a winner for today's epic Minecraft making contest. In today's challenge, ChatGPT gets a respectable 5 out of 10 which is pretty average given its resources. Gemini gets a phenomenal 9 out of 10, making it the best performer so far despite that one persistent bug. Cloud gets an 8 out of 10, we ran out of deep thinking attempt so we had to score its impressive but laggy first attempt. Grog got a disappointing 0 out of 10, 
it just couldn't produce a working Minecraft game in its free version. DeepSeek was actually the surprise of the day, it is supposedly the cheapest AI among all of them and it did incredibly decent work. It got a solid 8.5 out of 10. At the end, Perplexity also got a 0 out of 10 just like Grok, it simply couldn't make a working Minecraft clone. And by a narrow margin, today's winner is none other than Gemini. Last time we ran a challenge, it was one of the worst performing AIs, but this time it absolutely rose to the occasion and is champion quarter. I'm definitely looking forward to more victories and great quote from Gemini in the future. So this is for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this AI coding showdown, please subscribe and like the video and help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers. It would mean a lot to me and help the channel grow. Also comment down below what famous game I should challenge these AIs to make next and I will see you in the next video.